It's time now to go inside innovation, brought to you by Allegion, pioneering safety. Well, it's estimated that in five years, the Internet of Things, IoT, could have an $11 trillion impact on the U.S. economy. And there is a real feeling that Indiana, a state that makes things, moves things, and grows things, can grab a big share of that very lucrative sector. Fishers is home to the state's first IoT lab, one of the first of its kind in the nation. That lab marking an anniversary with the release of a state of IoT report. Let's go now to Fishers and check in with IoT Lab founder John Wexler. John, in your view, what is the current state of IoT in Indiana? Well, uh, Gary, first of all, uh, I think it's a uh, uh, very exciting time uh, for uh, IoT uh, and makers uh, and the industry in Indiana. Uh, we have seen uh, <clears throat> an expansion of this tech ecosystem uh, and a recognition uh, when we started uh, there was a focus on this make, move, and grow phenomenon of leveraging our traditional strengths in industry here in Indiana. And, uh, you know, we're continuing to see the entrepreneurs, the innovators, uh, and the tech folks uh, pivot uh, into supporting uh, these industries, especially uh, as you look at the new normal uh, that we are all uh, beginning to experience here. Uh, we're starting to see opportunity really unfold here. And as we develop uh, this ecosystem, more companies will emerge uh, and more opportunities will present themselves. And I think it uh, presents a great opportunity for the state of Indiana. John, you're releasing a state of IoT report in the week ahead. You'll detail increased engagement, 4,000 plus visitors from around the globe. Is the IoT lab meeting expectations? Absolutely. You know, I talked about this make, move, grow uh, phenomenon. Uh, we, we shifted our focus really into this uh, design, connect, and deploy uh, model. Uh, where we engage with the entrepreneurs, uh, the innovators, uh, the customers, the corporate innovators. Uh, and, and quite frankly, we've looked internally uh, for startup opportunities as well. And so when you talk about 4,000 people coming through uh, our doors uh, in the last year, uh, that is an increase, uh, a dramatic increase, uh, almost uh, 30, 35% increase over the first year, uh, which was a, a, a pretty big year for us. And so we are finding new ways to connect with, uh, with our community uh, and to meet the needs of industry uh, using uh, this ever continuing uh, to grow uh, model of Internet of Things and how we're going to uh, change the world uh, here in the future. So, yeah, lots of opportunity. We're very excited. John, the IoT Lab was uh, really a groundbreaking development. Give us an idea of the kinds of companies, uh, really kind of the vibe. What's the vibe at the IoT Lab in Fishers? Well, so we have uh, everything from, uh, as mentioned, the corporate innovators. So larger companies like Roche uh, Diagnostics actually has a, an outpost there. Uh, we have uh, uh, InDesign, which is a, an accomplished uh, designer of IoT-related products. Uh, and then you have your more entrepreneurial companies like uh, Cumulex, uh, Flexware. Um, uh, we have a, a company called Perceive that is working on spatial analytics, uh, a space that up until, you know, maybe even a couple of weeks ago, uh, the average person wouldn't give much thought to. Uh, but they look at, they build 3D models using specialized cameras to look at how uh, people are, are interacting in a uh, given physical space. Uh, that matters to retailers on how they lay out their stores and how their clerks uh, and salespeople might interact with someone. But even more and more, um, it, uh, it has, uh, has a lot to do with uh, physical safety uh, and, and situations like uh, we're in today where uh, social distance uh, is now a phenomenon. And so I think that this is going to present a, a lot of opportunity for the companies that are based uh, at the IoT Lab. And uh, we're really excited about watching them uh, continue uh, in 2020 uh, and beyond. John, looking forward, what do you see as the opportunity for Indiana, especially statewide? What's the statewide opportunity with IoT? I definitely believe, first, uh, first of all, this is a statewide opportunity. Uh, I think uh, entrepreneurship and innovation in particular, uh, and IoT as a, as a niche within that opportunity set, uh, really provides uh, the opportunity for entrepreneurs to innovate where they are, right? So, you know, from the beginning of this Launch Fishers uh, and IoT adventure, uh, we've always talked about the two kids in Lagodi, Indiana, that are gonna change the world, or, you know, a couple of kids in a garage in Kokomo, um, I think the more we can uh, invest in this environment to make entrepreneurship and innovation flourish, 
uh, we give those uh, that next generation an opportunity to innovate in place. And IoT in particular uh, creates an opportunity for someone to buy a Raspberry Pi for 25 bucks, uh, get an Arduino uh, for another you know, 10 or 20 bucks, and begin to integrate that into the real world. So when you look at our strengths in manufacturing, agriculture, and distribution, we have domain expertise that exists throughout the state and leveraging that existing, that heritage, right, with the new opportunities presented by this technology, we really have an opportunity to create products that could change the world. And that's what's most exciting to us. John Wexler, the founder of the IoT Lab uh, in Fishers, joining us from Fishers. John, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Well, also uh, this week, uh, making news around Indiana, despite economic uncertainty, Indianapolis-based digital marketing consultancy Leb is set to be acquired by a New Jersey company. Cognizant Technology Solutions says that move will further expand its Salesforce practice. Leb helps businesses modernize their marketing campaigns using Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Cognizant did not say whether any jobs would be affected by the deal. Last year, Lev announced it was relocating its headquarters from Arizona to Indianapolis with plans to add about 80 jobs.